Fox Carolina is committed to you, and this morning we're looking into what SCDOT is doing to fix one of Greenville's most congested roads. You know what we're talking about, Woodruff Road. Officials say that they found the best way to divert traffic off of the busy uh, roadway there. Fox Carolina's Grace Runkle live with the details and how you can actually give your input, Grace. Well, their plan is essentially to extend the parallel parkway about three miles down the road. So if you've been out to Woodruff Road, you're probably familiar with it. It's that road that runs behind Target and usually has a lot less traffic on it than Woodruff Road. But to give you a better idea of the scale of this project, let's go to Fox Carolina in the air to give you a better idea of how big this is going to be. So the goal is to divert traffic off of Woodruff Road and down alternative routes. For example, like Carolina Point Parkway where we are this morning. The plan is to extend the parallel parkway all the way down to Scott Hines Road. That's near McAllister's and officials say this plan will impact the least amount of businesses and homeowners and it takes into account some of the new developments that have popped up in recent years because they've been working on this since 2017. So let's go through the details. There's a lot of numbers here. The project spans three miles and includes the construction of two bridges, one over 85 and the other over 385. There are going to be six new roundabouts built, so it's very similar again to what you see on the parallel parkway. And altogether, it's expected to cost $121 million. Now, the SCDOT has already had feedback sessions on this project before, but that was back in 2020. So if you want to share your thoughts on the updated plan, head out to the Beck International Academy tonight from 5 to 7. You can submit questions and comments to the DOT workers that are going to be there. If you want to comment, but you can't make it out to that session in person, don't worry. You can also submit your comments online or by mail, and we tell you exactly how you can do that in our Fox Carolina News app. Margaret Ann.